Hey, Betty Fish. It's the 10th of February 2018, and you know how America is steeped in 13s, right? Most people understand that the Freemason and uh, Masonic power structure connected to this country is obvious. It's not just evident, it's blatantly obvious. And the 13 and how it relates to that and how it fits into our country right from its founding, basically. You know, there are 13 colonies, and we look on our money and the Great Seal and everything like that. The 13s are just abound. And 13 derives originally, biblically, uh, from Nimrod, essentially. He kind of uh, put the seal on the 13, and it's symbolic of rebellion and lawlessness. Okay, the Nimrod, mighty one, who's before the Lord, meaning he tried to take the place of God. He was the 13th in Ham's line. All sorts of um, illustrations of the number 13 meaning rebellion. And I'll link you to a couple of things also that, that illustrate this as well in the relationship to the United States, the Great Seal, and the money. And the number 13 primarily. But, you know, also 33, you know, they they have their, their favorites, so to speak. But 13 is very key in the United States. And the reason I bring all this up is to have something to do with the prayer breakfast that Trump uh, was at the other day. And I saw this article, and, and first of all, Liberty kind of, it struck me that, you know, I don't think most people take into account, you know, the biblical... Uh, definitions of liberty, I mean, in how we live, you know, in the flesh. You know what I mean? That the liberty is obtained through the spirit, you know? You you either have legitimate liberty or you have licentious, licentious liberty. <laughs> Sometimes I, licentious liberty, I have a problem with that word. I can say maliciousness, though, because that's, this is my favorite verse when it pertains to explain liberty you know because as free you know in america we proclaim ourselves the land of the free and liberty right and not using our liberty for a cloak of maliciousness we don't want to use it as a cloak of maliciousness but as a servant of god right that's biblical there's two choices you either free legitimately your liberty or licentious okay moral or ceremonial liberty okay and we can even look at the the definitions you know legitimate is legitimate according to law lawful in accordance with established rules principles or standards and of course licentious <laughs> sexually unrestrained lascivious libertine lewd lawless immoral unrestrained by general morality I think we get the message, and it's a pretty clear choice. So that being said, if you're either one or the other, and you can only achieve legitimate liberty through the Spirit of Christ, okay, being saved, right? Well, then you got to explain why that this man's government is still so steeped in this licentious liberty. Because I want you to just see, as an example, the 13s remember that and the liberty at pull up the prayer breakfast his speech and of course most people watch it on cnn which in and of itself is a three a five and a five the vv the w and the three which add up to 13 okay there's your 13 look at the video it's 13 minutes long and 58 seconds, which is 5, 8 is 13. So 13, 13, there's signatures all over it. And I just pulled this up random, and there just happens to be 33,948. Look at this, 272 thumb up, 911, 911, even the comments. Do you see what I'm saying? This is the kind of thing that, that is shown to me to illustrate the, the depth and the subtlety of this dark spirit in this world and how it will infiltrate any man no man's government is legitimate none 
but they will convince themselves and Satan will convince them that they are. Donald Trump, folks, I mean, what is he? He is a tower builder. What was Nimrod? <laughs> he built Babel, right? I mean, all of this, and they invoke, I need you to listen to him. I need you to listen to him from just from three minutes exactly. We're going through the threes here again, and I'll show you what I mean, just how subtle it is. And we'll go just like 20 seconds or so. But just listen to what he says. Central to American life and to liberty. Our founders invoked our creator four times in the Declaration of Independence. Our currency declares, in God we trust. Okay, that's all I need you to hear. In God we trust. It declares on our currency right what is our currency has anyone not looked closely at our currency because our currency is nothing less than the work of satan himself depicting his sacrificial little stunts all over them as well as ones to come and this is real stuff and he's invoking in god we trust on our currency and notice at right at three minutes and one second. And to liberty. And to liberty. And he states it very clearly, very deliberately. Liberty. What liberty are we talking about? What is demonstrated? What are the fruits of what we see, folks? That's all I'm asking. Is that someone who's walking with Christ? Just saying. And right straight through. Of course, it founders invoked our creator four times in the Declaration of Independence. Our currency declares, in God we trust. I mean, come on. Our currency declares, in God we trust. He invokes the founders, such as George Washington. We're all pretty familiar with how Washington was portrayed and, and how he was steeped in this very same deception that Mr. Trump is under. Mr. Trump is, again, he's nothing less than a tower builder. He is f fulfilling prophecy. I don't know what he is in his heart, but what we see says it is illegitimate. All man's governments are illegitimate. Okay? And I just wanted to, to, to show you that, that it is just hard at work in everything, everywhere. And it's telling me, yes, I'm seeing these types of things way too frequently for not to tell you that this is upon us. And you need to be saved. You need to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, search it out because I'm just not the preacher type you know it's just you need to really humbly seek it when you realize how deep the darkness runs and how there is no escaping it in this flesh it's a spiritual war and that's where you have to engage the darkness through Jesus Christ it's the only way so seek him today and uh, peace and grace to all of you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 